bad news, nothing works currently. But that's the only negative thing, only positive things are ahead of us. Okay, hello everybody again. Uh, as I said last time in video number four, some time has passed, but I'm uh, pretty satisfied with the progress I made. Uh, on many different construction zones, I made progress. For instance, right over here, the dual drive unit got much smaller as promised last time. Uh, it got shorter in length and also uh, some centimeters in width which leads to a much better angle for the drive shafts and which also gains some more space over here, but which is currently not in use and I don't know what to do with that space, but it's always a good idea to have some space in a vehicle. What else do we have? The batteries have arrived. If you ever ask yourself, what does it look like to have more than 15 kilowatt hours in a Twizy? Here we go. That's what it looks like. Ta-da! So um, those cells are such cells, lithium iron phosphorus, um, pretty safe. So if you short circuit them, if I take a shotgun and provoke that puncture test, uh, they, they are not supposed to start burning. Only thing maybe huge of lots of smoke coming out of them, but that's all. I measured some of those cells. They've got uh, at a typical discharge rate of 1C um, at least 80 amp hours. I've got always two of them connected in parallel, as you can see, which makes 160 amp hours. And finally, I will have 30 of those cells, of those doubled cells in series, which makes 100 volts. And finally, 16 kilowatt hours. This is around about two and a half times as much as the original Twizy got. And um, yeah, I'm still still struggling with setting up the system. Uh, for instance, something like that, controlling the main contactors, which are down here, and pre-charging the caps in the controllers. Uh, over here, almost nothing has changed. It's still the old setup of the main vehicle control unit and also the smaller one for displaying information. But I've got something else already, which is over here. Um, we've got the data acquisition for the 30 cells and also displaying those 30 cells and as far as necessary balancing them, unfortunately in a passive way. So those are the passive balancers for the 30 cells. In the lab it already worked. And the next steps are now, of course, uh, yeah, setting everything in proper operation over here. Um, so far I just wanted to give you an update. I'm still alive, I'm still pretty busy as far as I can, as long as my family lets me to do something somewhere between midnight and early in the morning usually. <laughs> and um, yeah, that video was meant to be more or less just an appetizer. And uh, probably you've got some questions or comments then, of course, as usual, feel free to ask. And um, if not, then yeah, please be patient. Now it takes some time again uh, because of autumn break and setting up everything. So I'm expecting video number six uh, in probably four to eight weeks. And if nothing goes wrong, that little baby is on its own feet again and might move some meters already. Wireless. Okay, so far, that's it for today. I hope you liked the progress and yeah, see you next time. Goodbye.